Is that Joe Cool? Is that Joe Cool? I hear Joe Cool. Let's go. We need we need 20 more people here now. Chuck Bronson's live right now. Over 200 people around the country, around the world. They want to talk to Officer Van. Joe Cool asked Officer Van what he was doing. Officer Van said, "Fuck you and spit on the ground." Whoa! Okay. Officer Van is a big, big tough guy. And now Officer Van is called one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of his friends out here. Whoa! Get the sergeant. Sergeant's coming. That's who I've been asking for for ten minutes, Van, but you haven't produced him until we went live. Why are you walking around in circles like that? Don't worry about what I can do. I can do hot scotch. I can do cartwheel. I can do whatever I want. You stand there and watch. That's what you do. That's funny we showed up and it's them. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I got him. I'm going to show him the video, though. Look, 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 you think you like motherfuckers you know, run the world? That, uh, you, you think know, you like motherfuckers run the world? Uh, and motherfuckers go to act like you, you're wrong. It's different, Trump. It's a hate crime. It's different, Trump. You're going to charge a law and order. Arrest him. Motherfucker, oh, understand. Oh, it's crime. You're going to charge a law and order. Arrest him. If it's a hate crime, do it. You're yeah. live around the country. See, this is your time. If you want to see, don't just throw out empty threats. No, it's not empty threats. Oh, it is, dude, it is. It's it is. It's an empty threat if nothing happens. It's part of you. It's part of you, bro. You, all you had to do was walk away and just I say, walk away. You, and you didn't have to say anything at all. You didn't have to acknowledge him. The fuck you and the spitting on the ground is what you got to do to this mess, right? Okay. You don't care about the citizens. They're beneath you. Sure. That shit. Sure. Fuck you is what you got. And that's why you're in the position you're in. But you get away with it 99% of the time. Well, what can you be telling you when you work on a lucky day, man? Like everybody else today. Everybody else today was like, hey, how you guys doing, Wade? And these two gentlemen over here, let me tell you. These are the rest of these cats. They're the senior members, obviously. They have tried to calm things down. They have been hospitable. They've been nice. They've been engaging. This side, except for Jordan, Pimp. Uh, I don't know. Pimp. They, they all Pimp. come to his defense, Pimp. even though it's 100% wrong. Pimp. Pimp. How are you going to tell you Pimp. this guy's right? They haven't said anything. No, really? No. You've never that said a word. I, I, you look very familiar. I could have sworn we talked Russia before. Do you ever tell the truth? Do you ever tell the truth? This guy's never talked. He's never said anything. I literally, I eat all of them. Oh my God. You don't even tell the truth when you're lying. You don't even tell the truth when you You make it up of a thousand, yo. I'm here to serve and protect. Oh, serve who? Protect who? Serve and protect. Who's in danger, nigga? Yo, keep Chuck, keep this camera on. Right, that's what I'm going to ask I'm content, yeah. I'm content. What you sitting here showing motherfuckers at? Yeah, I'm not going to be the best doctor. Tell them how to touch, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm going Chuck, sit over here. I got you. Sarge, can I talk to you? One second. Okay, fine. And, uh, what are you doing? Joe.
Again, I ain't got to listen to him here with a line. Really, he walked out the place. I say, uh, the truth can ask me. See, really, man, he gave the public. Fuck you. And I'm supposed to be 30 minutes. Sorry. One second. Everybody else can go. Go. My man, beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I'm not talking to you. Blow me, seconds. nigga. Okay. He's no. obviously got some issues. I, I, yeah, I don't. Okay. I'm my own person. Right. Okay. okay. I'm talking. Mm -hmm. I'll just say the same thing. Billy and Wayne, he's star 2615. Do you see that? Do you see how when a white shirt comes on? Let me just, because you're alive around the world right now. Who am I talking to? My name's uh, <laughs> Sergeant Citizen. Uh, Do you see how Sergeant Lane identifies right away? Rule 37 requires them to. Now, listen. We were walking up. He didn't see whatever. He was walking up. There's only two of us. It wasn't these two. He was coming out of this house. We were walking. He, he asked him, Do you mind if I ask you what was going on? Right? The guy, whatever his name was, he didn't realize I had a camera in my hand. He goes, No, he the finger and spits on the ground. Now he didn't realize I had my camera in my hand. So they get caught on camera. He in turn calls him a prick. Then it escalates, but this is it. Then he he says, calls for so the thing is, he says, I don't have to tell you about my investigation. You're 100% right. You have no, absolutely, and under no circumstance, you have to tell us anything about your investigation. But you know what? You don't have to treat the citizenry. Exactly. You don't have to treat the, the, the community That's like a piece of shit. You That's could have right. kept on walking. You couldn't even, you didn't even have to say a word. You didn't even acknowledge it. Well, you could have been engaged. Like or you could have been engaged. That could have been, that could have been your two choices. But giving him the finger and spitting on the ground is just, it, 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 it's just not going to be. Listen, I understand he gets away with it 99.9% .9 of the time. I understand we're on the west side of Chicago. The Constitution still runs here. CPD policies and directives. This constitutes our, uh, the federal consent decree is still in effect. Listen, we're not going to stand for it. Listen, if you can't, if you can't serve a citizen with uh, a citizenry, if you can't say anything back, don't say anything at all. If you can't do that, get a job at all. See the cop That's over there running on my plate? Like, there's no reason to give him a finger and spit on the ground. Did he spit on the ground in his house? Why is he spitting on the ground here? So I don't want to be yelling at you, Lane, because you've never done, you done anything to disrespect me. You've done, you've done exactly what your policy and procedures uh, require you to do. And I asked for a supervisor one minute in, and he refused to give me. I asked for him to ID. He refused to ID. You got, you got the supervisor. You got the that was Actually, after these two came and we went live. I, I did get the supervisor. Live? Yeah, live. Live? Yeah, live. Yeah. Live. Yeah. Live. Yeah. <laughs> All across the world. There's a certain community of people that go around and they protect other people's uh, civil rights. We're part of that community. So, 99% uh, of the time, it gets, gets unchecked, it goes unnoticed. Tonight was his unlucky night. He found uh, the diamond in the rocks. He found the needle in the haystack. So that's all it was. And then I even after all that, all I said to listen, if you apologize to him, he'll walk away. And he still could not bring himself to apologize. He said, I'm sorry for you getting offended. Yes, he did. He said, I'm sorry for but you I'm getting sorry offended. For what I did. I'm he sorry couldn't that you swallow got his ego. That you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, and that's what this is about. It's just about disrespecting the community. It's about disrespecting the citizens that pay your salary. It's about disrespecting uh, uh, people in general. Right. You didn't have to say a word. You could have kept on walking. He is 100% right. He is under no obligation to tell us anything about his investigation. 100% correct. But you know what you can't do? Is give us the finger and spit on the ground and think that you're going to get away with it and we're not going to say nothing. Well, this is what I'll do. I'll go back on my log and turn every night. I'll admonish him. The punishment. Well, can I get an Very event good. number? Can you give me some kind of event number? Is it, are you, it, was, it, was his body yeah. number camera on? Is your body camera on? Uh -huh. Okay. Red light means it's on your whole commentary is on my body. Okay. Fantastic. So, I, can I get the event number that corresponds to that uh, footage? Yeah, event number? Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah. I just need. I just need some. Uh, I just need some kind of information to go home with. And tell him I need to stop ticket receipt. Yeah. No, if we detain You guys are detained? No, 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 no. No, we're not detained. Fuck that, that nigga told me. Event number is 14537. You either stop taking fire and gas. 14537. I'll get you your receipt, okay? You don't have to keep saying it over and over again. Right? Yeah, nice, you're being nice. I am being nice. You're the, you're the one that keeps wanting to escalate things and try to goad me into saying something. Well, I'll tell you, what you said was not going to happen. I heard you the first time, I'll get you your receipt, okay? Yeah. 14537. Okay. okay, I'm good, thank you. Very good, bro. I see you earned your shirt, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, he died. He ID right away. It took me 20 minutes to ID all four of them. All five of them. Six of them.
I, I can do Japanese algebra quicker than I can ID six police officers. Literally, it's rule 37, policies and procedures. It's right below rule 36 and right above rule 38. It's not hard, dude. But listen, 99% of the time they get away with it. Unlucky for them, they sat on the needle in the haystack. It's just not gonna be put up with anymore. You're not gonna disrespect the same community that you swear to protect. So you're, you're not gonna get paid by us and disrespect us at the same time. It's just not, it's not gonna happen. You took a job to be a public servant, your job is to serve. If you don't like that, all these is hiring. Amen. And you and you and it's always a white shirt. That's why they get the white shirt. They ID right away. So they know right from wrong. These gentlemen can't do it if they wanted to do it. The gentlemen with the white shirt do it every single time. You never have to argue with them about it. So how is it they, they know the rules, but their subordinates don't? Right? They obviously We have no idea how we even rolled up on you guys. We didn't even know you were here. <laughs> And I'm glad you did. My my camera went Very out. Good. My I can camera went out too, Joe. Uh, uh, my camera. Went, I can literally show him when he spit on the ground and gave him the my finger. I mean, that's gonna go too. on the internet. But my shit was full. <laughs> my, my camera went out because I was full and had no space. And I still, you know, held it. The world to these motherfuckers. So I'll back up out here. Yeah. Yeah. When they were calling backup, he said, I'm calling my backup. Yeah. Call 911 oh, if you want your backup. Yeah. And then you guys came. That's what he told me. Yeah. I said, get a sergeant here. He goes, call 911 if you want a sergeant. That's what he said. I heard him saying it as I was I said, walking okay. up. And then I looked down the street. I go, oh, my backup's coming right now. Yes, yeah, Sergeant. That's what he told me. He said, if I want a Sergeant, I can call 911. Hey, Denise. Hey, David. I was waiting for a tow truck to show up on my car down there. A couple of them went and parked behind it and ran my shit. Man, I've had my plates ran 30 times already in two days here. <laughs> Yeah, you do matter. You not, not only two, you, you are, are the only ones that matter. They're Go public ahead, servants, you're the public. Exactly. They're here to serve us, not to boss Go nobody around. around. The only way they get away with that is if you right. don't know your right. rights. Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, listen, he never thought this was going to happen. So regular... He's trying to ID Joe and he said he's like, What's your name? He's like, Joe Cool. <laughs> You can call ten of your associates. Oh, no, he didn't tell you that. You called ten of your buddies and you told me to call 911? Unfortunately, I know security policies and procedures and you're required to supervise. Yeah, sh you should be able to do it anonymously. But. They were all told to leave, but they're disobeying. They're acting like they're leaving, but they're parked there and then down there. Kedzie and Harrison. Listen, what? we are in the 11th district. Yeah. Kedzie and Harrison. You can look that number up on, on, call that desk right now, or don't call that desk. It's your right to do what you want. What was that officer's name? Was it Lad? The, the guy that started the whole thing. Was it Lad? Was it, uh... You kept saying his name, but I, I have it on there. 
I'll get his. I'll get his name. But it's the 11th district, Kenzie and Harrison. All you gotta do is Google it. That's right. Somebody re rewind it and post all the info. Rewind the video. Pull the name that he was naming the officer. And then, um, no, yeah. Sergeant Lane, L A Y N E, is a sergeant that came out and he was hot spittle at and he took care of business. I believe the officer's name was Lad, L A D D. I'll find out in a second here, though. Tell one of your mods to post that number. It's 312 746 5151. Somebody post that. Say it again. 312 746 8386. You got 9 million mods, none of them. Officer, what was, in the, what was that officer going First stop ticket, yo. Stop ticket receipt. Oh, it was Van. It was Van. Van. So it was Officer Van. V-A-N? So I was getting the two pin third. So this is Officer Van, star number 17679. Look right there. That's a, that's a stop receipt. They have to give you one of those to show that they made contact any time they detain you. So is this part of a contact card? That's a contact card. Yes. It's, it's a law they're supposed to follow. If they stop you for any reason, they need to give you a stop they receipt. You. So they can't pull you over at 4 o'clock in the morning, run through your car, and then drive away like nothing. Nothing happened, and you got no evidence that there was any kind of contact. Uh -huh. I used to do that, especially over now, here. They would Not no more. This. They would never give this unless no, I was no, here to tell them about their policies. They they that's, why, that's why you guys never. need to know. Hey. This is an ISR. When they stop you, when they hold you, and they search you, if they do anything, you tell them I want the ISR. You tell me you want your name, their name and their badge number. As soon as you start telling their policies and procedures, yeah. they take a step back. They're like, oh, I'm gonna fuck with this dude. Doesn't mean you've got the same rights. Motherfucker, they do they can run up on me, they'll run up on you. After three seconds, you're gonna realize I know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what you're talking about, they're staying on you. So what a, what's the line they gave you? Are these a known drug area or something? No, they didn't get out. They don't get down with that with me. He said you had no he he he, he, he wasn't even he was so he was so cute and so new to the game. That everything he was given was ridiculous. I was letting he said, "Oh, you have no right to know about my investigation. You're 100. You have no. I have no right to know. That's your investigation. I have, I'm, well, I'm not privy to that. But you don't have the right to give no, me the no, no, we filmed the police. The I saw him. We got out the car. And we filmed him. He come out the place. And I said, "Excuse me, can I ask you what's going on?" No. I'm like, "Dude, really? Why are you being so rude?" And he gave him the finger. Oh. So at that point, now you're right. You don't, I called him yeah, a exactly. You're, he called for backup. I called him a backup. He 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 called him and taxes that are guaranteed. Yeah. Everyone oh, the pays taxes. Gonna happen. It's gonna happen. When you Whatever. bought that jacket, when you bought those shoes, when you bought those pants, when you bought that hat, when I bought tax. this shirt, all of got taxed. And they be right there when they tax me, your taxes. Yeah, <laughs> so, so. We want we're, home a dollar, we want all of it, they ain't sick more. We're public we servants. And it's as right. you see, they're ganged up down here and they're giving their little huddle about how they're gonna go back and uh, gonna handle secure. this because hopefully, Chuck Bronson's team of Beast is out there calling the 11th District, <laughs> Holman and Kezzy, and getting down on them about Officer I, what, Van. 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 V A N N. <laughs> one seven six seven nine. Because they're down there getting their story together. Because there's nothing going on down there, but there's six spot cars that just happened to stop 100 feet from. Well, what was the purpose here. of the 10 bag of officers? Because he didn't like, he didn't wasn't getting the better of us. We were walking away, and I was videotaping. He didn't like that we were. He said, "Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! I live here. Get the fuck out of here! You get the fuck out of here! You leave before I will." And that's what it was. And I, because I wasn't walking, and he wasn't walking, and Joe wasn't walking. Then it was he had to call his backup officer, but you're not calling the sergeant. You're calling every one of your friends. But you're not calling the sergeant. Yeah. Yeah. Both the sergeant. The first person yeah. 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 Hey. And then he won't. He refuses to ID. Well, no, not no, ID. Rule 37. You're required to give your name, rank, and start number. Any member of the department, any member of the community, when on or off oh, duty. You don't even have to be on duty. Let alone mm -hmm. on duty engaging me in the public in uniform. So basically, what you're saying, excuse me. Here's another part of the hit squad. So you ask, no, we, we showed up to, of we showed up to see incident, stops and it was the hit squad all undercover, three and four of them. Badge oh, number, oh, stripping man, cars. But if he has nothing else to do and he's probably engaged you, he has to give you his name, rank, and star number. Name, rank, star number. Got the hit squad going on. And then 